Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Drawing with Mr. Spolvita. I'm Mr. Spolvita. And I'm Elisa. And we're continuing to count down to 12 days of Christmas by creating 12 pieces of Christmas art. In yesterday's episode, we created Santa being stuck in a chimney. Uh, Lisa, can you let the viewers know what we'll be making today? Today, we will be making a Santa coming out of a present. Santa coming out of a present? That sounds really exciting. Can you let the viewers know what materials they'll need to create this piece of art? The materials that you will need to create this piece of art would be something to write with, a piece of paper or a canvas, and coloring utensils. And something we're coloring with today are acrylic markers. So we're really excited about that. But if you don't have acrylic markers at home, you guys can use colored pencils, crayons, uh, alcohol markers, whatever it is that you feel most comfortable with, okay? So go ahead, pause the video, grab those materials, and when you're ready, come join us for a little bit of Christmas art. That's right. All right, so we're gonna start off by uh, creating our Santa popping out of a present by creating the present first on the mm -hmm. bottom, okay? So Lisa, we're gonna make a rectangle on the bottom. We're gonna kind of make it wide enough on the bottom because Santa's kind of big, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And we kind of want to make sure that he's in here. So Elisa's using a ruler to make her box, but if you feel confident and you want a free hand like me, then you guys can do that as well. All right, so now that we've got our presents um, on the bottom, we're gonna draw up uh, the top of the present at the top. Uh, when, for this one, we're gonna make sure that the top of the lid is just a little bit longer, but not as thick or not as big mm -hmm. as this one, okay? Does that make yeah. sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna start off by just kind of following this line up and then sliding it over to the left a little bit so I can make a line just like that. And then we'll do the same thing to the right. So it'll go up a little bit and then slide it outwards a little bit. All right, and then the last thing we're gonna do here is just kind of connect our boxes um, as best as we can. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go straight across as best as I can. It's okay if I go a little over and then I'll do the same thing to the top portion, just like that. All right, and Elisa, can I ask you something? What? Um, what normally goes on the top of a present? A bow. A bow. So let's go ahead and put a bow. There's different types of bows. I'm going to do my favorite one, which is just a bunch of like little round circles like this, like little half circles. Um, that's kind of my favorite bow. What's what your favorite bow? What a coincidence. That's mine too. That's yours too? Oh, that's awesome. All right. So she's putting in her last bits of ribbon here. Ooh, I like those. Those are nice. And we can wait for the next part, but for our viewers at home that aren't using paint, um, you may want to draw in the um, gift wrap design first, uh, but for us, we can always add the paint on top of paint whenever we're doing it. Um, so we'll save that part for last, okay? Uh, we're gonna move into drawing our Santa Clauses next. All right, guys, so we're ready for Santa, and I think Santa's gonna be um, a, a nice, fun drawing. I think I'm gonna have him holding this present, so his hands are gonna be coming up here, and then his body will be kind of a little bit to the left, I think. Uh, at least that's the way that I'm planning it for, for this drawing. Um, but before we get to that hand, I think we gotta draw Santa's face first, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and so I'm gonna start this off by making a nose, kind of like that. So it looks like a letter C. I'm giving myself space over here because we gotta put Santa's hat in it, right? Um, so good, that's a good spot that you put it in. Um, then we need Santa's mustache. I draw the mustache by just kind of putting out two little um, shapes like this, right? They're almost stretched out C's, okay? Yeah, it kind of has that little curve on it, yeah. And you can make them as fancy as you want. You can give them like a, like a handlebar mustache or whatever on here. I think that might be kind of fun and silly to, to kind of play with, right? And then, ooh, is, is that what you're doing? Yeah, I think it'd be fun to play with. I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, a little handlebar mustache for Santa, okay? Um, and then for his mustache, I think I can pull it in a little bit, going towards his nose, kind of like that. Yeah, just like that, good. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. So I'm gonna have this stretch out this way. Just like that, good, good. And we're gonna try to leave ourselves some space for the paint, but we can always, we're gonna use our pencil drawings to kind of um, guide us a little bit, but ultimately the paint's gonna be on top, so we won't really see any of the sketches. So if we make any mistakes here, we're pretty good. Um, but if you guys are using alcohol markers, crayons, and stuff like that, just make sure that you have things spaced out enough that you feel comfortable with, okay? The next part we're gonna do here is give him a beard, and he, Santa's got like a big beard, so I'm just gonna kinda of give him a nice little curl over here. It's looking perfect. And then we're gonna round him off just like that. So I saw you already start that part. 
but that's perfect, right? So we're gonna round it off, going all the way towards that mustache. And I like how your handlebar kind of blocks part of it, because that's gonna be really important. I really like that. Yeah, looks good. I like how yours comes to a point. I'm gonna leave mine a little rounded, because my beard's a little rounded, so I'm wondering if Santa has a rounded beard. I don't know, right? Um, we're gonna put a little ear over here, so we'll have some skin. So we'll put a little C, right? Another C shape. Yeah, it looks like that. I'm connecting it here towards the beard. Um, so if you want, you can straight. No, it's okay. You don't even have to raise. You can actually just stretch the line uh, kind of going towards it. Okay, because again, remember, we're going to put white paint on it, um, and so it's going to cover everything up. Okay. Um, we're also going to stretch out part of his sideburns, right? So I'm just going to kind of put this right here so that it kind of cuts off his ear from his face, right? So we're going to put in those sideburns. Good. And then we're going to put in the rest of his face. I'm just going to put in a, another C shape, nice little round shape, because I'm going to make Santa a little bit rounder. Okay. You can make him muscular if you want. I don't know if Santa gets, you know, really swole during the summer. You know, he's just working out um, at the beach on vacation. I don't know. In my opinion, I don't think Santa would be getting swole what? during okay, the summer. Because well. he has to be planning what he's going to get the kids, and that takes a while. Because there's billions and billions of kids in the world. I love that. I love that. Um, if you guys think that he gets swole, leave this uh, video a like. If you think that he doesn't have time for it, still leave this video a like. Uh, we'll we'll kind of debate on that afterwards, okay? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give him his hat. So I'm just gonna kind of put these little swirlies, right, little curlies, right, all the way across from top of his head to that ear, okay? So just to the ear on that side, it's okay. Oopsies. And it's okay if you, no, no, oopsies, right? Because again, paint's gonna cover it, so we're good, oh, yeah. right? So. It's, it's okay. These are going to be guidelines, but we're going to have to probably maneuver a couple of these things, okay? All right. And then we're going to do the top part of this hat. So I'm just going to put some curlies again. Just kind of swiggling it around all the way from one side to the other. And then this is my favorite part. This is where his hat comes in. All right. So we're going to go ahead and stretch out our Santa hat. So we got our long C's, and it's okay if it hit the top of the present. That's completely fine. I have a question, Mr. Sepulveda. Yeah, what's your question? hat ends up going under the present like mine did could we try to make it go back to you like make it so we can see it folding back down? yeah we actually will we actually will so since yours kind of went up over here it'll actually be coming down this way okay um, and you'll actually be able to kind of follow that with me too um, so the one right here by his ear we'll just make a smaller C shape going inward so it's how it's going that way so you see how yours is going outward that's cool too because um, there's a multiple different ways to do this. I'm going to do mine this way so that I can have it fall down um, and then I'll put it right over here. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do mine. So I'm doing that way, that way. But I like yours. Are you going to put the little ball on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put the little ball on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and give him his eyes. I like cutesy eyes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to leave little circles where I'm going to make those cutesy eyes just right over there. He's going to be awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. And next part, uh, we talked about this part uh, before. He's going to have to hold that present up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and kind of put out his arm. Um, I think because I've moved his head this way, I'm going to actually put his hand up here instead. So that it's, it's, it's kind of like he's holding a pizza or something above his head. Uh, that's kind of my thought process. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm actually going to have him hold his hand right over here. So I'm going to do it with two little C's, right? So we're going to give the illusion that it's a hand, okay? Ah, uh, you want yours on that side? I like that. Are you going to hold it with two? Ooh, okay. This kind of brings me back to the swole Santa. Mine can do it with one hand. <laughs> well, he's got to do it with two because it's magic. It's going to keep flying. Okay. Plus, his arms might get tired. You might be right. You might be right. All right, so I've got this. I'm going to put in a little bulge over here, like a little bit of two C's connecting, because this could be the glove, right, that he's wearing. If you think of like characters like Mickey Mouse that kind of have this popping out, uh, that's the way that I'm thinking about it. Okay, that looks good, good. Perfect. And then all we gotta do is kind of bring his elbow down to about part way to his beard. Okay. Yeah, right there is perfect, that's a good spot. We're gonna do the same thing to the other one, but we'll keep this one smaller. We don't wanna continue it longer than this one. Does that make sense? Yeah, good. Oh, man, awesome. And then we're going to round this part on the bottom towards his body. Yeah. 
and then we'll run this one right here. Should I do it on the other hand? Yeah, you can do the exact same thing on the other hand. If you if you guys are doing what Elise is doing, right? I'm, I'm gonna let her keep drawing, but if you have it on both sides, it's the exact same thing, except it's just in reverse order. Good. And so for Santa, he's a little bit on the plumpy side, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give him a little bit of a round body. And we can make it really round on both sides. So I kind of did like parentheses on both ends, right? Just to make them a little bit bigger. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about, about leaving the space. And I was going to tell you to do that um, just a second ago. <laughs> and quick reminder, just so you know, if your Santa turns out a little bit skinny like a stick, it's okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> completely okay, right? Santa at different points in time. You could have made muscular Santa like the way I envisioned him in the summer, right? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe when Santa was younger and he wanted to be like his dad, he was skinny. Yeah, abso absolutely. Um, Maybe so, his dad was skinny, so. <laughs> in the middle of his belly, we're going to just kind of connect a line that looks like a rectangle, because this is where his belt's going to go. And then in the middle, we're going to draw a rectangle again. Hey, how'd you know? Because I know what Santa looks like. Oh, well, that kind of helps, right? Because this is going to be his belt buckle. All right, cool. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and cut this part off right over here. I'm going to cut this part off because that's going to be part of his jacket, I think. Uh, usually in my head, uh, his jacket has like this middle part over here that's a little bit white. Oh yeah. Um, so I'm going to have it go straight down. Okay. You can either have it straight down or I did some squiggles. When I paint over it, I have to make my decision if I'm going to keep it squiggly or if I'm going to keep it straight. Um, and then we got to put his legs in. So I think his legs are going to be coming down here. There we go. So we don't have to think too hard about that. And if we want to, we can split his legs um, just like this into like two rectangles. Alright, so if you're like Elise and you have space, we can actually put um, some boots for him. Um, do you know how to make boots? No. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Can I do one leg and then you'll do the other? Okay. Alright. Let me so, finish drawing them first. Okay. Good. All done. Alright, so for if you guys have what Elise has and you got some space, that's okay because we can fill the bottom with snow or something cool, mm -hmm. right? Um, but for the boot part, we'll just kind of stick it down almost like a straight line. We'll come down on an angle, okay, and then we'll round this part out just like that, okay, and then this way we can kind of bring it back, bring it out, and then bring it up, and then if you know where your boot is, this is where we can put the line, just like that, good. And again, if you, if you want to add some snow down here, you could totally have some snow so you can step on it. If you want to add details like what Elisa did, that's completely okay too. Um, since we're painting over these, we might not see these lines, but that's okay as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, if you're like me and you still have one arm <laughs> that's not accounted for, that's okay too. I was thinking that with this arm, what he might have... We could put it on his belly. I'm not going to put it on his belly, but you definitely could. Um, this is what I'm going to do with it. I'm actually going to stick his arm out just a little bit. And make a peace sign. <laughs> no, not a peace sign, although you really could do it. Um, what I'm planning on doing is having him hold another present. Okay. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to put like a square. Oh, yeah, I can kind of envision this thing. Like when he's surprising his child that he's delivering the present to, he could be popping out of the big present and giving to the child his present. All right, it's a little small present inside of a big present. I think it's kind of funny. I think it's kind of cute, okay? All right, so these are our Santa Clauses, okay? They look really great. Do you want to add any snow or anything to the bottom of yours? Hmm, maybe a couple presents. Okay. All right, guys, so Elisa and I decided to add extra presents. Well, she added one, I added a couple, and she gave me this awesome idea to add an elf. So I decided this is gonna be where my elf is, but I won't put facial details until after I'm done painting, okay? So this is the part where you guys can either, one, watch us in the time-lapse coloring these with our acrylic paint markers, or two, pause the video, then color yours, then hit play on ours and see how ours compare, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the time-lapse.
we're back. Um, Elisa, tell me, uh, how'd you feel about this Santa popping out of a present? I personally think that for me it was very hard because the drawing part, not so good. But what I like is that like, if you mess up with a pencil mark, you don't have to erase it and redo it because you can just always go back over it with the paint markers. Yeah, I like that too. I think that's probably one of the best things that you just uh, kind of hit the nail on the head with. Um, if there's ever a mistake, you just kind of paint over it, which is awesome, right? Um, what, what was your favorite, absolute favorite part of this entire project? Um, my favorite part was probably the little elf right there. <laughs> the little elf screaming. Back, oh, I thought that was about funny. to pop back into the present and step on him. Oh. And then I also like the present that says ho ho ho. I love that. I love that. Um, for me, I thought um, I had a lot of fun with the coloring, um, especially the background, because I wasn't yeah. originally going to do a background, but you talked me into it, and I was really excited that we did it, okay? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is us wanting to wish you a Merry Christmas and tune in tomorrow for a bonus episode uh, where we're going to be drawing Santa Claus's head. All right, can't wait to see you there, guys. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Oh, one last thing. If you like mine better, leave a like. If you like Mr. Sepulveda's better, subscribe.